Hi again, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing. We're gonna give you some tips to do uh, if you're a client before you get your tattoo. The first one, today, I'm gonna to talk about starting your aftercare before you get your tattoo. All right. And we're back. Now oh, that's over. Remember this says that my hang loose is weak because I got covered like a box cutter so like this finger doesn't work anyway. So if you're giving me crap without knowing that, shame on you. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I don't care actually. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, before you get a tattoo, one of the most important things you can do is start your aftercare. We want to start it a couple weeks beforehand. Now, why is that? Now, if, if you're going to listen to your artist, which I, I personally don't think you should listen to every artist out there because you know tattooers are not dermatologists and their bias in giving advice is mostly driven by consumerism and just single point of view uh, data points. This is just like, I know it because it's always worked, but there's no bias. I mean, there's no, there's no proof past that bias. It's like what works better or what doesn't. It's either it works or it doesn't. And that's a problem. So one of the ways you can help your tattoo heal better, and this is regardless of who does it or how much trauma that you go through, is start your aftercare beforehand, right? It's very simple. There's reasons why, but before we get to them, we know you want to start about two weeks beforehand. Now, we have an article on the website that talks about the different, like we have a tons of articles about aftercare on the website, but one's gonna talk about like where you live, like your environment, what you do for your job. You know, if you sit at the computer, if you like break bricks with hammers, the, the types of products that you're gonna to need to protect your skin because it has a wound from getting a tattoo is gonna be different, right? So regardless of the products that you're gonna use, and we should make, I think we probably have a video about it anyways, we have a ton now. Um, you wanna start it two weeks before you actually get out, right? There's a reason why. Um, on your skin, let's write this one out, microbiome. Outside of your body, inside your stomach, there's a whole bunch of things that are living there. They could be pathogenic, they could be non-pathogenic, and they're in constant struggle, right? You have bugs and viruses and mites and bacteria and all these other things that are going on. You know, like it's, they're constantly in flux. It's a competition that's going on, right? And they're adapted to how your life is lived and how you interact. So the types of food that you eat, the types of soap that you use, you know, if you shower once a day or three times a day or 12 times a day, all of those things are gonna influence what lives on the outside of your skin. And when we take <clears throat> any new product and we apply it to the skin, you're gonna make some of them stronger, some of them weaker, and some of them maybe just kind of stay the same, right? And it doesn't mean that they're actually getting buff because like they're living off of this stuff. It just means that the environment has changed and it makes it more difficult for these things to exist in like a happy stasis. So there is a, just a, like a kind of a combat about ones that may, you know, become more prevalent and others that won't. And it's fine for the most part, if you're doing this without damaged skin. But if we start doing it where there is a cut, and let's say that those, one of those things in your microbiome on the outside of your body, like staph or something like that, uh, starts to proliferate because you've introduced a new aftercare product immediately when getting a tattoo, they may be able to get inside your body and create infection. Now this may not be a systemic infection, we're gonna get sepsis, something like that, it could be, who knows. Uh, it could not even be a measurable infection, it could just be an infected area, microscopically, that your body is going to have to work to try and overcome to heal that wound. And any amount of stress that we're gonna be putting on the body when it's trying to heal a wound on top of that wound is going to delay the heal. You know what I'm saying? So if we start your aftercare product a couple weeks before you actually get the tattoo, it gives your body's microbiome a chance to adapt, decreasing the chances of you picking up a wound and also making your skin just totally normal, right? <laughs> this is pretty simple stuff. I know it may seem like it's complex, but realistically what you wanna do is, as a client, start it out two weeks early and you're gonna have a test. Listen to your tattooer at first, right? Take their, take their word, maybe they're, maybe they're right, who knows? You're gonna do the number of times uh, a day and you're gonna use their products, right? 
Number of times a day, if they say you're supposed to be washing it twice a day and applying this stuff, cool. Start doing that with your skin. See how your skin feels without a wound. If you're doing it, and we'll say that you're gonna get a tattoo in your form, do it from your elbow down your fingers. Tips, right to that whole section. If you do that many times a day with all that stuff, which I don't think would be good because it'd be showered that many times a day and put that much lotion on it, your skin would be kind of gross, right? But if you do do it and your skin feels immaculate, awesome. At least you know that you're adapting your microbiome to what is gonna be happening after the tattoo is done, so you're less chance to have to like heal an infection. Uh, and your, your skin's already just gonna be prepped, it's great, right? If you start doing it beforehand, you notice that your skin is getting nasty, don't do it. Start experimenting and figure out how things are gonna work, right? Take control of your tattoo if you're a client and don't blindly follow the label. We all know this stuff, right? Labels are made for I don't know why they tell you how many times to use it. Realistically, it should be like your skin, my skin, their skin, everyone's different. So we're gonna use stuff differently. And you gotta try to experiment to figure out what's gonna be right with them. Anyways, before you start your tattoo, start your aftercare. You got any questions? Leave them in the comments, send us an email, leave us a coffee, and the buy me a coffee thing so that we can make money. Uh, we've got a swag shop too, a better tattooing shop, go check it out. We've got like some pretty interesting shirts there. I got my, my my, my pelican with coke dealer glasses uh, hoodie that's awesome it's really soft and past that we'll see you next time thanks for watching this is ryan better tattooing signing off